In this video, we're going to make the Shredder Pro. Uh, you might have seen our uh, small shredder, and this one kind of does the same thing. It shreds plastic, but it works a bit different. This previous shredder had a single X, and this one has a double X. So the other one is slightly easier to build. Let me show you. Um, but it's also less efficient, less productive. And this shredder is really designed to uh, run more capacity, but it's also more complex to build. So make sure you decide what you want to do. So plastic shredders already exist around the world. So I would advise to first look locally to see if you can buy one, so you don't have to completely make it. If you do decide to make it, uh, watch this video, but you could also buy one on the bazaar or buy parts on the bazaar. So in this video, we're gonna build the machine. And overall, it requires a bit more advanced skills. Uh, if you want to know more about the specifications, the kilogram per hour output, the laser cut files, you can find it all in the link in the description in the download kit. Um, and for now, we're going to have Jan that's going to show you how to build it. Hi, so today we're going to build the Shredder Pro. And we're going to make it in seven steps. The frame, the axis, the hopper, the sieve, the electric box, the motor and all components around, and finally, getting all together. So I'll show you how to make it step by step. So we're gonna start by the frame. And this is quite an easy one. You only need square tubes, rectangular tubes, flat bar, a corner, and some bolts. Before you weld, you can drill a few of the holes you need to make for the motors and the cable management holes. Wait to drill the more critical holes until after you weld to ensure proper alignment. Now that the top of the frame is welded, start to mark all the holes positions by taking measurements relatively to each other. Before drilling, you can check with the laser cut bottom plate to make sure everything is in the right place. Then drill them all on the drill press. Once the holes are drilled, tack well the legs and assemble the motor plate. Before painting, we recommend cleaning the steel as some rust or grease will affect your painting quality. Then paint fully to the color of your choice. Now that the frame is complete, we were going to make the two shafts. The nut will tighten the blade together and avoid having loads on the bearing. This creates a much more complex axis to turn on the lace, but will add a lot of strength and efficiency to your shredder. For this, you need the hexagonal bar, the nut, and of course, the blade you laser cut. You should not remove the axis immediately from the lace, but first check the thread with the nut. Because if you need to rework it, then the tools is still in position to do that. Once one side of your axis is done, just switch it and do the same steps again.
Once you machine one axis, just repeat the same steps for a second one. Once your hexagonal bars are ready, we can begin to work on the blades. To ensure a fit assembly, sand all the blades and spacers before. We will start with the long axis, and the first step is to use a screw on the short part. And you need to let more or less one millimeter clearance. Then this axis starts to be with two four millimeter spacers, then one two millimeter spacers, and we can start assembling the blades. Then on the long axis, we use the large number of teeth, and they should face counterclockwise. The order of the blades is indicated by one mark that you can find on each blade that should correspond to one face. And for each blade, you rotate one face counterclockwise. So one blade, one four millimeter spacers, and one two millimeter spacer. And for the second blade, the marks is switch by one face. Two spacers, and again a blade switch.